What's up guys, we are back with another Pop Report update, number 87. We're going to be going over January 23rd through January 29th, 2023. So we'll go ahead and start off with PSA. PSA grade a total of 195,035 cards this week. Uh, leading the way as always, most of the time at least, is TCG with 78,000. Uh, 500 and then followed up by baseball with 35,000, basketball with 24,000, football with 22,000. Uh, non sports cards took a huge jump up to 13,000 cards. Usually they're in around the five to six thousand range, so um, definitely a big hop in the non sports cards cat category this week. I'm not sure what must have caused that, but it is what it is. Uh, so the total of 194,000 does not rank in the top 10. So there you go. All right, moving on to CSG. CSG graded a total of 7,192 cards this week. Um, 2,700 were from baseball, 2,000 were from football, and 1,400 were from basketball. So. Uh, that is a, a slight dip compared to last week uh, by 1,300 cards. Last week, they graded 8,500 cards. Uh, CGC, they graded a total of 34,890 cards this week. Increase compared to last week by 5,712, where they graded 29,000 last week. Uh, in total, uh, this week, they had 42,082 cards. Last week... 37,706, difference of 4,876 cards. So, not too bad there. Um, correction, 4,376. All right, moving on to tag grading. Uh, tag grading, uh, I'm not even sure what, you know, what's going on there. Just you know, if you're going to be grading with tag, just be very, very cautious, you know, very wary. Be aware of how much they're actually grading. So for this last week, they graded a total of 10 cards, um, six football, one basketball, one baseball, one racing, and one Marvel card for a total of 10 cards. Their uh, all-time total on their platform, on their uh, pop report, sits at 4,318 cards. So just be cautious, you know, be aware of what's going on with TAG before you start to send cards over to TAG. You know, uh, HGA, they graded a total of 1,075 cards this week, which is another dip of 303 cards compared to last week, where they graded almost 1,400 cards. Um, again, uh, HGA has been kind of like going down uh in numbers for the last about three or four weeks so uh not sure if we're starting to see the the, the start of the end for them or you know this is just maybe a slow slow uh slow uh few weeks that they've had so ace grading uh they've added a total of 155 unique cards to their pop report uh this week uh slight little dip compared to last week where they had 202 cards um and again ace grading they are tcg grader based out of uk and they only do tcg so um and they are probably the biggest grader out of uk so not too bad for them comp c uh Come see if you you're not aware they a they are a selling platform. Uh, in order to sell on Comp C, you have to mail them your cards and then they they store them for you. Uh, they scan uh, the pictures, they scan a picture of your card, and then they upload it to their selling platform. And then uh, people are able to purchase your cards um, at a fixed price. Um, you can also send cards off to be auctioned off on the through Comp C to eBay, and then when they uh, end the auction, uh, that money that's uh, that's collected from eBay goes back into your Comp C account. Um, I've only done one of those 
transactions, uh, which was pretty smooth, um, pretty smooth uh, tra transaction. So, just something else. If you know, if you're lo looking to sell cards, just be mindful of the fees that Comp C has. And um, yeah, so this week they added a total of seven thousand eight hundred thirty-one unique cards to their selling platform. Uh, lead, leading the way this week was baseball with thirty-one hundred. And then after baseball, it's just a bunch of cards, a bunch of categories like football with 700, non-sports at 800, soccer 600, basketball 300, hockey 200. So just a bunch of sports. And so the 7,800 unique cards, it's a little bit below average. Um, increase compared to last week, but still just a slightly uh, below average. They're usually you know, for Comp C, you want to be looking at about ten to eleven thousand. So seventy eight hundred, just um, just it's giving me vibes that maybe business is starting to slow down, slow down at Comp C. Maybe the hobby, you know, it's sending less and less cards to Comp C. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, my slabs. Um, my slab is it's uh it's another selling platform so unlike comp c where you got to send in your cards and then they store them for you my slab is more aligned with the ebay model where you take a picture of your own cards and you post them on the website the huge difference between my slabs and e uh, ebay is uh the fees my slab is a one percent fee i believe it is um and the amount of eye traffic, you know, foot traffic through my slabs is much smaller than eBay. Um, and also there's a vetting process you have to go through to be able to sell on my slabs as well. So just keep that in mind if you are uh, wanting to sell on my slabs. Uh, pretty good website. I highly recommend it. I'm not paid by my slabs. I'm not paid by any of these uh, guys here. I'm just just out here doing it on my own dime on my own time so but um my slabs uh what they are selling currently they have 125,042 slabs up for sale on my slabs uh 42 of them 42,000 baseball 40,000 basketball 26,000 football hockey 2,000 soccer almost at 5,000 pokemon at 1,400 For formula one at 1,100 tickets at 47 other sports at 2300 and non-sports at almost 3000 listings uh raw cards they had almost uh 12,000 uh, sitting at 11,997 which is a slight little decrease compared to last week or increase by 34 and then raw card lots it was uh, 1321 slight little increase by 5 there so now we're going to check out what they are actually selling. So this week they sold a total of 930 slabs on my slabs, uh, which is a pretty good increase compared to last week by 114. Raw, they had 71 raw listings uh, sold, increased by 16. And then uh, raw car lots, they had 12 of them, increased by 10 compared to last week. So in all total, they had 1,013 uh, sold listings in uh, sports cards, which is an increase by 140 compared to last week. Now, wax, they had 97 sold listings in wax, uh, up by 12 compared to last week. Slab comics, they had 11 of those, up by one. And then raw comic singles, raw comic lots, and anything high end, they had zero in all of those. So, in all uh, sold listings, they had 1,121. Uh, increased by 152 compared to last week where they had 969 sold listings. Uh, their slabs, what sold on my slabs was PSA. They had 771 PSA slabs, 69 BGS, 2 BVG, 1 CGC, 16 CSG, 2 Redemptions, and then 69 C, uh, SGC. So, uh, pretty good week this week at my slabs uh, 1121 um that's that's kind of like the highest it's been in a very very long time so i am kind of um excited and curious to see where we're going to be at for the next two or three weeks if this trend 
continues to go upwards. Um, pretty excited. So, but that's it, guys. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And as always, thanks. Take care. Be safe. And talk to you guys later.